Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody posted this picture of this cutting board and want to know how they could get a font like that. Well, there's, I don't really know of a font like that, uh, but very easily uh, without too much trouble. And I did this in like in 10 minutes or five minutes. Got it pretty close. You could play around with it. And so anyway, I just used a font called Autumn in November that's probably on DA fonts. I don't know where I got it, but I'm gonna left click and right click. And then there's several things you do and many, many ways to do it, but you could take the font, go to object and convert it to a curve. And that way you have nodes and you can use a shape tool and you could select those nodes and just pull them out. And if, especially if they're gonna run off the cutting board uh, you don't have to worry about what the end looks like. And if they don't, and if you want them on the cutting board, if you have X7 or above, you can use a, the smoothing tool and just kind of smooth that out a little bit. Then on the other end, I just kind of noticed that they're, they've got like, it grows thick and then thin and then back to thick. Well, there's many of fonts or many of fonts, many of, artistic media tools that uh, grow from thick to thin. So we'll just pick one and that's probably too thin. And um, it's almost easier to go the other way. Most of them are gonna be a little bit, they're gonna be too thin in the middle. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take just one of these fonts or one of these tools, and I'm just gonna kind of draw, and I actually didn't hit the, and I'm gonna kind of swish down, and then I'm gonna draw another one to kind of go and swish up. And I'm gonna actually mirror that guy. If you lose your mirror tool, you can click off of it and do like that, and then maybe even mirror it the other way kind of like that. I mean, you don't have to do it exactly like that. And, and you could, the, the possibilities are endless. And what I would do then is select them all, go up to object and break the four objects apart. And the reason for that left click, right click, you could see the artistic media stroke in the center and you really need to get rid of that. So we'll just hit e, hit delete. Now you can kind of play around with these and you could actually even angle it, trying to get it more in there. Now, I think you have to convert them to curves or break curve apart at least to get it to weld. And if it doesn't weld, let's see what we got here. We got a curve on one layer. Okay, we got two curves. So I'm gonna move this down a little bit and I'm gonna select it all, I'm gonna weld it. And it did pretty well, I wasn't very good. And I'm just gonna take the virtual segment delete key and del went too far. Then get your shape tool and just delete a couple of those nodes and then join this together. Then as soon as you do that, it's always smart to get the smart fill tool and fill that in. And what the smart fill tool has done is it's made it one solid unit um, so you won't have any problem with it. And then we can left click, right click. And I normally do red, but I'm just doing black tonight. And then you could grab the shape tool and move this down, maybe even delete that one. You want it kind of the, the, the uh, shape of the font. And you can always take your smooth tool and smooth this out and make it look more uniform. And in not very long, instead of welding, I'm just gonna take the virtual segment delete key and I'm gonna delete these outer lines. And don't worry about it being rough right there. We're gonna take the smart fill tool again and fill it in. And what that did, it made all our joints equal. And then you can actually do this while it's uh, filled in with a solid color. You can actually kind of see what it looks like even a little better. Not bad for just a few minutes. And let's just put it on the board. And of course you can resize it 
And I mean, that's that fawn is really close. Anyway, I hope it helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.